Hey y'all, I'm Parisian and this is Dream of Parisian Terra. We're gonna get a few cards for my Scorpios, okay? Um, this is the feelings between you and your person. So once I open up the deck, the energy for y'all is we got the five of cups. So someone's definitely been thinking about some type of past events. All right, feeling very regretful at this time, very sad. And you can see, look like he's crying. Then we got the Queen of Pentacles here. So some of y'all could be focused on your health, wealth, and beauty at this time. Definitely give yourself lots of love, okay? Some of y'all could definitely be attracted to the color green and pink and blue. Also, y'all could be focused on your stability and security at this time. Let me see. Somebody wants to come in and come say something to you. Can I please have a few cards? We got the Ten of Swords. So, we, so as you can see, um, this person is laying out on the ground. They're being stabbed in the back with Ten of Swords. So this is about being stabbed in the back and betrayed, okay? So somebody's hurt right now. And we got the King of Swords. Could be an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini here. But there's somebody who wants to communicate with you with the Ace of Swords coming out. So some type of truth is coming out. Or they want to come bring you this truth. But she was definitely hurt here. So they might want to tell you something about what was going on behind your back as well. So secrets. Secrets being revealed. And the Queen of Cups, which is y'all's energy. So you could definitely be a bit emotional or sensitive at this time, which is very important to like nurture yourself and beautify yourself and, and maybe go on a spa day or something like that, okay? What's under that? The High Priestess. So you intuitively know something, so pay attention to your intuition. Also, some of y'all could be tarot readers or someone could be going to a tarot reader. The Queen of Pentacles. Definitely yeah, focus on nurturing yourself at this time. So, I'm seeing a lot of air energy, which is telling me that someone's heavily in their mind. Heavily in their mind about everything that was going on. And it looks like both of you could be thinking about the same thing. The Three of Cups. So, somebody could definitely want to invite you out somewhere, but they indecisive about asking you. Also, um, you got some type of friend group that might want to ask you some questions. This could be because, you know, sometimes we have uh, we think about our friends as our family or our family as our friends. So if you don't hang out with friends, it could be family members. But there's a, a group of people who are confused and want to ask you about some type of situation here, okay? But it's like they want to come bring you some type of truth at the same time. So maybe there's something that you might not have known about that was being done behind your back. But there's multiple people who want to come in and ask you questions or maybe even like tell you about it. But it's a lot of confusion. The Queen of Cups again. Some of y'all could be beautifying yourself to make yourself feel better or doing some type of retail therapy at this time. And we got the Nine of Cups. Yes, you will be receiving your wishes, okay? Because this card is about wish fulfillment. Also, this person, it's like this person wishes to be with you. They even obsess with you, so they watch you a lot, okay? They definitely want to have some type of makeup sex or something like that. And then we got the Fool. So this is Capricorn energy, and we got Aquarius energy here. We also have the Eight of Pentacles. So it's like this person working hard to take some type of risk towards you because they could have broke your heart. So this is about heartbreak. This is about third-party situations, stuff like that, pain. So this person put you on some type of pain. It was definitely multiple people involved. They could have definitely cheated on you in some type of way as well. But they working hard on trying to take some type of risk towards you or come towards you and tell you something. But they want to fix things, period. And the Three of Pentacles. So it was some type of collaboration. People was working together. We got the King of Pentacles now. So that's a match. So it's like this person sees you as wifey material. nine of pentacles but you could be independent or decide to go independent or off on your own in some type of way also you could like nice things or you could live the lavish life in some type of way too but it's like they want to be a part of your world two of wands so they could be making plans to like be with you or trying to figure out how to fix the oh like fix things and be with you they could definitely want to go on some type of trip with you too but they could be blocking other people away from you so they keeping secrets, secrets that might hurt you. And they blocking others away from you. Because they love you. The emperor. And someone could be talking to their father or like a fatherly figure about you. Six of cups. Somebody from your past. This could be somebody from your past, but it could have been an ending between you and your person. Someone could have tried to end this between you and your person. 
They could have been asking advice from other people or keeping some type of secrets behind your back, though. But it's like they want to tell you, but at the same time, they're afraid to tell you. Let me see. As soon as I open up the deck, the energy for my Scorpios is pendulum. Yes or no? Like I said, there's some type of confusion going on. And there's people who want to ask you questions. Your person definitely wants to ask you some questions too. They want to come towards you. They want to take action towards you. Y'all could be long distance. Or maybe y'all not talking to each other as much. Or seeing each other as much. Okay? But someone's definitely having a lot of anxiety and they're definitely thinking about you a lot. You could also be thinking about them a lot. Long, they want something long term with you. They see you as that wifey or that hubby material. They could also definitely want a baby with you. You are their true divine feminine. But y'all could be long distance. Or like I said, not talking to each much or seeing each other as much. So that could definitely be an issue. They want to give you a proposition. As you can see, he giving her a ring. It don't necessarily have to be a ring, but it's definitely looking like some type of ring, especially since the first card that we've seen was long-term. And we've seen that king and, and pentacles and queen of pentacles, which is like wifey, hubby material, um, establishing some type of foundation, marriage, stuff like that, you know? <laughs> they very possessive over you and obsessed with you, especially with that devil card. Obsessed and possessive, okay? They feel like you are theirs. You can feel like they are yours. On the horizon. So it's like they plan to see you or plan to give you some type of offer soon. And they want a secure, loving nest with you, okay? They definitely got their eyes on you, even if y'all are long distance. Realize that. So they didn't came to some type of realizational epiphany. What's under that? They want to marry you. So you the one they want to be with. They are enamored by you. Love potion. So it feels like a love spell. They so in love with you standards okay but you can have standards and boundaries about yourself because there is some type of defensive energy here but the defensive energy here feels like you've been stabbed in the back there were other people involved and your person is definitely trying to defend you or protect you from some type of negative energy here okay but um maybe you wasn't going for them talking to other people or doing this and that you know what i'm saying so they know you got standards and boundaries but they want to marry you the real deal okay so you're seeing multiple rings here. So they serious about you. As soon as I open up the deck, what we seeing from my Scorpios? What I told y'all. Multiple people. I was dealing with multiple people, and they are all jealous and stalking you. So that's where the defensive energy was coming from. They may be trying to protect you from others in some type of way. But it says, we will have our happy ending. Don't worry. <sighs> Can I please have a few cards? On my Scorpios. So, yeah. It says, how am I supposed to trust you if you're still in contact with your exes? So, they can still be talking to their exes. They already was dealing with multiple people. And that could have broke your heart. Okay, and now these other people that he was dealing with are stalking you and watching you. So definitely causing some type of issues, issues or blockages here. And it says the confidence that you possess has other females mad. So you could definitely be very confident in yourself, the way you dress, the way you look, the way you do your hair, the things you create. And um, these these other people that they were dealing with is intimidated by your confidence. And it says, I'm mad because I can't have you when I want you. So, the first card that we seen was long distance, right? So, there could be some type of blockages between you two or y'all not seeing each other as much, something like that. But they do want to be with you. They do want to co conversate with you or tell you some type of truth to fix this situation between you two. But look, there's a mean girl's crow stalking your social media platforms to study and gossip about you. So, like I said, it was a group of people. This could be a group of family, friends. Don't necessarily have to be your family, friends, but it could be his, all right? And they all stalking you and watching you and talking about you. So, not just the other lovers that he was dealing with, but 
a group of mean girls or something too all right look okay i don't want to show this right here but it says i fudged up when i listened to them karmics they discuss me now so he not listening to them no more he was listening to them at first though okay and would you agree to a poly relationship because he was definitely dealing with another person or maybe you are you put it where it fits for you but there was definitely another person involved period but it says, I love you regardless of what anyone has to say. So whatever they're saying to try to get this person to not want you no more, to not love you some, no more, it's not working. And it says, fudge the family standards, you are more than good enough. Also, it says someone new was coming in to talk to you and your ex heard about it. So they could know that there's another person who wants you and they could have heard about it okay in some type of way and the way you stand on business intimidates me all right so you don't play you mean what you say and you say what you mean so that's where that standards and boundaries and stuff was coming from too what we on we on 11 i do a couple more ideas real quick uh -oh. one just fell y'all yeah, hold on I'm sorry I left you hanging. So, not only did they hurt you or, or cheat on you or lie on you, but they left you hanging in some type of way, too. And it says, every time I open my heart, no, every time I open my mouth, I feel like I may say something to make things work. So, they could definitely be afraid of talking to you. You could also be afraid of talking to them, too. But somebody's having issues being vulnerable and opening up because they don't want to mess this up as much as they already have okay and it says i don't care who you're with your mind and we just seen the car talking about they possessive your mind okay at the bottom of the deck it says you are a very intelligent woman i love when a woman has the knowledge to teach me something new so you're very knowledgeable you could be very wise okay and they love that about you and they definitely watch you let me get some of these. As soon as I open up the deck, the energy from my Scorpios is. It says, I'm just thinking about all the times I cried over you. And you could have been crying over this person a lot. But I feel like they also have been crying too. Because as soon as we open up the deck, we've seen that five of cups. Which is about regret and thinking about the past and then pain and stuff like that. But this is why we've seen so much marriage. Let's go straight to I do. I don't want to think it through. I'm in love with you. Okay, so this person wants to marry you. You can also want to marry them, but they hurt you, though. So they got to figure out how to fix that. Baby, listen, please. Again, they want to communicate some type of truth to you. They want to fix things with you. Watching to see if something was slowed down for you. So you could, they feel like, they could feel like you're moving out of their grasp in some type of way. Especially if you went out to do things independently or if you're like too focused on beautifying yourself or too focused on your work and stuff like that. Uh, you could be trying to heal that's what you're actually doing um they could be feeling like you're forgetting about them or something like that and they don't want to lose you so that's why they watching to see if like you're slowing down so they can like catch up with you or get you to pay attention to something to them because that's why we got baby listen please you get what i'm saying so it's not in a bad way i'm happy you gave me a chance to experience your love you feel like home to me. I know that you're the one. Like I said, they see you as wifey. Well, if y'all are male, you know, hubby. When it's late at night, I can feel your soul calling me. So, yeah, definitely at nighttime, it get real bad. It get real emotional. And you could, too. Because the Queen of Cups was coming out a lot. I'm going to do that again because there's too many cards in my hand. Somebody is despising how innocent you are or how good you are or something. I don't think that's coming from your lover, though. It says you bring them mental clarity. You have a lot of knowledge. You have a lot of wisdom, right? It says, 
I'm still holding on to you even when I'm silent. So even if y'all not talking or seeing each other as much, they still holding on to you. And you could definitely still be holding on to them. They're so obsessed about your job and life purpose. So something that you do, something that you create, whatever you're doing, um, it could be uh, you could be getting some type of recognition, all right, or doing good for the world, period. You doing good is pissing off your enemies because they tried to block what's destined for you. Like I said, there are people trying to block you. There's a mean girls group talking about you, stuff like that. They just hating. And somebody he was fooling with at work is stalking you because he failed for you. So you got multiple people stalking you, mad at you because your person loves you, okay? They also mad about your confidence and something that you create or do. They want you to do less work and let them handle it, take it. So they can see that you've been working. You could either be working on yourself a lot, working on your create, whatever. But it looks like you you could be working hard because you're trying to heal or not think about how hurt that they made you, okay? And people are telling them to clear this up with you. So he could definitely be getting advice from other people. Like I said, I've seen that emperor card. Um, it could be an Aries or like a fatherly figure. It could be their daddy or somebody that they see as a fatherly figure or something. They could have been trying to get advice from them. But it says divine family is learning how to be more self-sufficient and doing it very well. Like I said, some of y'all chose to go off to be independent in some type of way. Working on yourself. And they tried to clown you for being different when really they was jealous of your spirit the whole time. At the bottom of the deck, you better keep it home locked for me. So, yeah, they don't want you dealing with nobody else, okay? I forgot to get the Zodiacs. All right, so let me see what Zodiacs could be involved in this situation. We got Neptune or Pisces could be involved. Let me hurry up. A Leo. A Gemini. Heavy on that Gemini Virgo, okay? Uranus, Aquarius, Venus, Libra, Libra, Taurus, Earth, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I'm seeing Aries too. Oh yeah, Aries, another Scorpio could be involved. Heavy on Aquarius, okay? At the bottom, Libra. So please like this video if it resonates at all. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all.